High Point police have arrested a man accused of two carjackings in a matter of days. They say he even used one of the stolen cars to steal the other. WFMY News 2's Jenna Krasina talked with one of the victims who said the suspect yanked her out of her own car. Yeah, Chad, Hunter Thompson is excited to have her car back and in one piece. As for the suspect, police say this is the fourth time he has been arrested since 2018. All arrests involving a stolen car or gun. It just makes you trust the world a little bit less. Last Thursday, Hunter Thompson was sitting in her car on Centennial Street in High Point, waiting on friends before she had a chance to react. She says a man opened her door, pulled her out of her car, then drove off. I didn't see him at all. I, I was just freaking out, if I'm being honest. A few days later, High Point police made an arrest. Officers say they spotted a white Mercedes someone reported stolen in Greensboro. When they tried to pull the driver over, he drove off. Eventually, officers arrested Cassie Gladden, who they say also stole Thompson's Honda in High Point. Kind of a relief. Um, I know he's not going to be standing outside my house one morning or coming back for the car or anything like that. I lock my car three times whenever I get into it. No matter what I'm doing, I lock it three times and then um, just watching my surroundings. Investigators say Gladden is in jail with no bond since he was on post release after serving time for other crimes. Guilford County's chief public defender, who is not familiar with this specific case, but has seen repeat offenders before, says there are several reasons Gladden was given no bond. Without knowing what the decision was, in order to be held without bond, you have to be either charged with a murder or charged with certain probation violations uh, or be deemed because you're on some sort of release that you are accused of committing. If you if you appear to be a danger to the community, they can hold you without bond. Gladden faces various charges. As for Thompson, she suffered a few injuries from last week, but is doing okay.